here in my garden and look, everything is alive, it's growing really well, I couldn't be more pleased. But I'm under here next to my grapevines and look, they're just growing all over the place so I need to do a little work. I just love the way my grapevines have grown in this year. I love the natural look that it gives this garden. I love the way it looks over this lattice fence. And as you can see, it's growing really well this year beyond my wildest dreams. So I'm gonna intertwine all of these grapevines throughout my arbor here and check on all of my awesome bunches of grapes. Look at this bunch of grapes. All right, I've already trained all of my grape vines the way I want them to grow. And since it's early summer, it's the perfect time to start clipping leaves and making stuffed grapes. Now what we're gonna do is we're going through here and I'm just picking the medium sized leaves, leaves that aren't too big, aren't too small, and they're usually a lighter green color. Now we're gonna look for a leaf that is lighter green, doesn't have any holes in it. So I'm going through here and I am just picking all of the medium sized leaves now, what is a medium-sized leaf? Well, definitely if it's light green, that's one indication. Also, it really depends on the size leaves that your grapes give you. So, see, these leaves go pretty big, so that's about medium. And I'm gonna bring those inside and I'm gonna blanch them first before we start stuffing them. What's cooking, good looking? I'm Patty Moreno, the garden girl, and I've spent the better half of the morning training my grapevines over my arbor outside and harvesting grape leaves to make dolmades, or stuffed grape leaves. We're gonna start off with this boiling hot water here, and I'm gonna add a little salt. Add some fresh lemon juice to it. Now I'm going to add a few grape leaves, about six or seven. I'm gonna blanch them first before we start stuffing them. Just very quickly. We're gonna chop up some fresh mint, fresh parsley, onion. All right, my pan is heated up. I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm going to add my chopped up ingredients. Add the rice now to our saute. Ground meat. Mmm, smells so good. I'm gonna line the bottom of this pan. Now I can start stuffing the leaves. Folding it over, both of the sides in. I'm going to take some more leaves and I'm gonna cover it over. I'm gonna take about a cup or two of hot water and put it in the pan. Take a plate. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna put this whole thing into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 60 minutes. My stuffed grape leaves are ready. I just took them out of the oven and I'm gonna open up and show you what they look like. Pick one up. Look at that, nothing came out. Oh, it's so warm. Mmm. really good. Mm. Let's 
flavors, it's warm, it's juicy. The rice is cooked, the meat is delicious. I can taste the mint and the parsley. Mm, it's so good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making stuffed grape leaves with me. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go have some more.